What is going on, my mad people? We are back with another, once again, kind of delayed episode of Don Dorama Despair Arc Episode 9. I don't understand what's up with animation right now. I really don't know what's going on, but it seems like the only anime, the only anime, of all the all all the animes they have that they upload, they take and buy, is this one. Is Don Rumba series is the one I keep getting delayed. Well, it's, it doesn't matter. I was you know reviewing it around the same time, anyways. But still, I, I like to watch it early so I have a better opinion on it. But that's not a fact. Let's go on this episode. Yuka Zomi, man. She's a poor Yuka Zomi, man. She was being tortured. Like, not only did she witness a freaking decapitation suicide, but she saw the natural killing game and freaking Murakuro was freaking messing with her head with those two needles, man. Just back and forth. Just, that's a torture right there. Some serious freaking torture. And I'm like, Dear God, make it stop. Make it stop. Before this, I was watching one person doing a live on um, action video to it on YouTube. It was only audio and clips. And pretty much, I understand this, it was raw when he was doing it. So I watched it myself, and it was do Nagito. It was about Nagito um, telling everybody not to go. And the thing was, is... He was right. Nagito shouldn't have gone. But yet again, when I was hearing him, him, like, no, don't listen to Nagito. He's a piece of shit or anything. I'm like, dude, shut up. Like, seriously. We get it. I, I understand a lot of people in the Don Around the fandom that doesn't like Nagito. But for crying out loud, give somebody some credit when they're doing something right. For crying out loud. Let him, let them shine. Like, I don't care if I, I, I hate Sakura, for example. I hate Sakura. I'm Naruto. But if she does something right and something cool and awesome, I will give her props. But you people just keep insulting Naruto every time he does something and it's annoying as hell. Like, like throughout the whole entire video, he keeps going, oh, Naruto, um, Naruto is a piece of trash and everything like that. Don't listen to him. Well, because they listen to Naruto, you know what's going to happen. They're going to become the spare because Jinko Inoshima was hoping on them to come. That's a trap. So, no brainer there. Besides that little spat I had, um, this was pretty much not much really happened in this episode besides the torture scene in the class on their way to Junko Inoshima's trap. Ryota is guilty as crazy. His despair was that he has blood on his hand. Well, not blood on his hands, but. Yeah, he had blood on his hands, because he helped Junko with that video. Whether it was against his will or not, he still did it in swimming dulge in his conscience. So, I guess he's off the list for being the mastermind. It's his despair is his own guilt. Now, they're on their way into the lair, where um, they believe Miss Yukizomi is at. But however, Mikan pushes Yami out the way. Now a lot of people were confused on this part saying, what happened to Chiaki, or how she's there? Simple, trap door. Simple as that, trap door. Why is there a trap door there? It's whole speak Academy. A lot of weird things happen on this campus, duh. Anyways, Mika pushed Chiaki out the way because she cared about Chiaki. A lot of people who were watching the live reaction were wondering, why? What happened to Chiaki? Why in the world was she in a bear? One trap door. Why? Because Mikan cared about Chiaki. Mikan knew what was going to happen. Mikan knew that once when they would get down there, they will watch the video and they'll become ultimate despairs. But Mikan didn't want to have them to Chiaki, so she pushed her into the trap door and now she's in some hallway. The real question is why is Yuki Zomi doing there? We all know Yuzomi has fallen to despair. She has watched the video, her brain has been picked with, and she saw Sue and die. She's in despair. Could she be the mastermind? But I am off the mastermind stuff. I'm not doing it no more. I always want to see how this plays out. 
but my god, this episode was crazy! And just to top it all off, we finally see the ultimate imposter's true face. I gotta say, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool, and I like him. And, wow, I wish we could see more of him. We probably will, but it makes you wonder why he went back, looking like Togami in the end. I don't know, but this was a fantastic episode. Not much happened, but it was just enough to make it right. And it's just sad, we're all consuming the spear. Nagito was unconscious, so he's being dragged there, and by the time he wakes up, he's gonna be in despair. Oh my god, it's gonna be sad, it's gonna be sad, but it's gonna be good at the same time. I see how all this ends, see how all this connects. However, is, I don't think Chiaki dies. I don't think so. Everyone's wondering if she died. That's the real question. Who is the mastermind and does Chiaki dies? These are two normal questions going on in the future in the spare arc. And only until then we can see it. And I cannot wait, dude. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Well, anyway, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Matt from Anime. Signing out.